Hello guys and welcome to a beginner's guide of settlement and base building in Soul Ash 2. So in this video we're going to cover the basics of base building and construction. We're going to cover how to set up a settlement and I'm also going to be showing you a quick tip on how to gain easy XP for construction so you can build more buildings. So first off I'd recommend choosing your starting skills or your character. We'll go for construction because that means you start off with a hammer. Uh, the next one is going to be carpentry and you need to choose the hatchet so you can start chopping down the trees so you can get some wood. And the next one is going to be adventuring and then we're going to choose the pickaxe over the knife. So that means we can mine ore and mine stone. Okay, so let's start a new campaign. Uh, we will start in Oismal Village. Let's just start there for now. Uh, first thing you want to do is leave the settlement. So on the mobile map, if you actually click on each tile, it actually tells you if you can actually claim that region, whether there's a faction on there. If there isn't a faction, you can travel there and you can set up a settlement, it's fine. If there is a faction there, you will have to defeat the faction that is on that tile before you can actually claim it. So I would recommend, if we look down here, so where the mountains are, because there's going to be a lot of stone there, which we can do for the base building. So if we have a look on this one, Vast Mountains, uh, you, like it says there, you're unable to claim this region. So there's a faction on that one. If you have a look at that one, that's unable on that one. This one, we can claim the region there and it is mountains. So let's travel to there. Let's enter that region. And yeah, as you can see on the mini map, there is no question mark. So there is no other faction here. And you can see we've got a lot of mountains here. So we can start mining this stone. Okay, so I've collected all the stone that I can carry at the minute, so my weight limit's at maximum. We've got 25 stones, so we can find a nice little area to start putting down our base. So find a nice little flat region. We've got some trees here also. We have got some spr spruce trees, so we could sell them for gold if we need to. So we could set up a settlement here, so start the building if you press the l key that brings up the building menu because we picked the building skill we have got all of these unlocked so far and if we start by placing down a makeshift stone wall which only costs uh, one stone so we've got 25 stone we start placing these down you can only place them down where you can actually see as well you will place a blueprint down you will need to go back and build it later on Let's place the rest of these down. And once the blueprints are down, if you just click on the build arrow, you will actually go up and finish the wall. It won't let you place a blueprint down if you haven't got the materials to do it. Okay, so okay, so all we need to do now is place a stone gate. So we've got stone gate, we can place that there, there we go. We'll build that. So that's given us XP every time we place a blueprint down, it's not when you build it. So you can actually place a blueprint down, get the XP for it, and then destroy the building. We can't destroy anything until you've actually claimed the area. And for, for that, we will need 100 gold. So we've only got 20 gold at the minute, so we will need to find some resources to sell at the nearest village. So if we have a look around, I think we've got some trees up here. Yeah, we've got some spruce trees. So if we start chopping them down for some spruce wood, we should be able to get some gold from them.
So after searching around, I managed to grab some resources. So let's take them to a nearest village and we can sell them some gold. And if we go back to the village that we started off in. So we made it back to the village and we're going to speak with this trader and sell all the resources that we got. So sell all the wood, sell the marble blocks, the spruce wood, sell all the firewood, the wheat bread. And we'll sell all the stone as well. Okay, nice. So we've got 103, which is enough for playing a settlement. You need 100 gold. So if we head back to our settlement. And it will not show up until you've claimed it, so it will have a house symbol once you've actually claimed it. Let's enter the region again. So if we go over here now, we actually go on to lock the world map. We can actually click this button. So claim this region for yourself and establish a new settlement. And you can call it whatever you want so I am an undead so we will call it undead and the cost is 100 gold so let's create that there we go so we've got a settlement now so if you actually go onto the settlement tab it will tell you what sort of families what buildings you've got the stash so how much resources you've actually currently got in the village and you've got different caravans which you can set up and do trade with other villages So if we go and mine some more stone now, we'll get into a bit more of the base building. Okay, so we'll grab some more stone. If we go into the building menu, and depending on how much of resources each one of these costs is the amount of XP you actually get. So if I place down a bed for four wood, I'll get four XP for that. A stone bed, stone times three, so I'll get three for that. So let's place a bed down there and you can actually place them down as many times as you want. You don't have to build them, you always get the XP when you place the blueprint. So we're going to use this for three because the stone wall is only one. So if we place as many as them, then you can see we've gone up construction level one. So as many as we can do, let's just place all them down. And then now I've got the settlement, we've got this new deconstruct tab here. So if you just come out of that build menu, if you right click on it, you can actually demolish these. And it won't affect your XP, you've, you've already got the XP for it. But the only thing is you will not get the resources back after you demolish. So just be wary of that. Let's go in there, let's finish building that bed. And we did go a level up for construction. So we're on level six at the minute. So we have just unlocked ascending and descending stairs. And if you just keep doing, repeating this process, grabbing as much stone as you can and then just keep placing down beds which you get three xp from each one then you will level up in no time quickly just mined all the stone I can carry again so I've got 26 stone again and you want to just repeat that process open your building menu and 
pick on the stone bed that's at this level that's the most you get i think if as you level up you will unlock the workbench and that costs 10 stone so you get 10 xp for each one of them so if we just place these blueprints down there we go another construction level place as many as uh, them as you can there we go so i'm all out of stone i've got two left i can't do that but i've already gained the xp so then you could just click on demolish and get rid of these blueprints and there we go we've leveled up another one on construction so we're on level seven now and you just repeat that process until you get to this one level eight where you've got the stone workbench that costs 10 stone so you get 10 xp for each one of them and then you start using that one just repeat the process with them and you'll level up really fast so as for stashes in your settlement so if you go to the building menu you've got the decorated stash which is the storage for the whole of your village and for that we will need two wood so let's quickly chop one of these trees down chop that log up as well give us some wood okay so if we go to the building menu we click on the decorated stash we can actually place our stash down there we go and you will get xp for that you can only get two because it's only cost two wood let's build the stash there we go so we've got a stash so you can actually click on that now and it tells you all the resources so if we wanted to we could move any of these resources over our wood stone and that will be the universal stash view of village if you go to the settlement tab it will actually tell you what's in there and then as you get more followers more people in it you can actually set up caravans to different villages so if I select on that send that word select a destination it actually tells you the profit you will get out of it and the, the best place to sell that resource we can't do it at the minute because we haven't got any recruits so once you've actually recruited them, you can actually send them to sell all your stuff that are in your stash. I've quickly just mined a ton of stone again. So we've got 26 now. If we go to that, we have actually got the workbench unlocked. So that costs 10 stone. So place that down. Uh, 20 experience straight off the bat. If we have a look at the instruction, so we only need another eight to get to the next level. And that is the best way to level up your skills. You could probably do this method in other biomes, but I just find it really easy when you've got a mountain there because you've got abundant of stone. You could probably do it with wood, um, with the carpentry skill, but this is probably the best method. And that is it for the beginner's guide of starting a settlement in Soul Ash 2. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I will expand more on this series. I will go into a bit more detail on the base building side of things in another video but i hope you enjoyed this one i hope it helps you out and i appreciate you for watching if you did enjoy this video and you think it will benefit you drop us a like drop us a sub if you do like the content and i will see you in the next one